Hello, this is Linda Ward, and I'm going to show you how to improve or enhance an image in Perfect Effects 9, the, the free version. First of all, you have to open a file. And I will go and get this picture of my sister and me in St. Joe, Michigan, when they had the carousel horses on display out on the streets. I want to edit a copy of this picture because I do not want to ruin the picture that I already have. I can choose to save the picture as a Photoshop, TIFF, or JPEG. I will choose JPEG. Now, I keep the color space the same because this is a color space that came in with my picture. And evidently the resolution was 300. If I want to change the resolution, I could do it here. But I'm going to keep it the same. Now, here's the interface of Perfect Effects 9. Right over here are some favorites that the company seems to think a lot of people like. Here are some presets that the company built for you. And you can see some of these. And here are the filters. This is where you will build your own combinations. These presets are combinations of these filters. Now over here is the navigation. Here's a loop. What if I want to know what's happening to my sister's eyes or to the, uh, the picture here on the horse or maybe the horse's eye? I can check it out by bringing out the loop. Here's the histogram. I can see if my picture is too dark or too light. I can tell this is a high key picture and there's some white whites because of the histogram over here. I can tell a lot of the reds are in the darker colors and a lot of the greens are in the mid-tone colors and a lot of the blues are in the highlights. That stands to reason because it was a clear crisp day and there was no humidity so the sky was very blue and the light was blue. And I want to keep my picture like that but I want to make some, create some enhancements. So that's that. Now here is the filter stack. In this filter stack your original picture will always be here. And as you add the filters, they will stack up here. And you can even add another empty layer to put another filter in if you want. So let's get started. Let's look at favorites. And let's look at one crunchy. One on one crunchy, whatever the name of it is. Oh, look at this. I have here's my original picture. Well, it evidently did an HDR filter on it and a vintage filter on it. Let's check what the vintage did. Ah, the vintage filter made it kind of yellow. You can close the eyeballs on and off to see what's happening here. Let's see what the HDR did. Hmm, kind of bumped up the contrast for sure. Pretty cool. But you know what? I don't like that. So I'll click on one of these and do the trash can. So I'm back to where I was. So let's look at the presets. Uh, let's go to texture combos. This is kind of cool. No wait, the last one was a texture combo. Let's go to commercial. Uh, it's already cool and crisp. Let's try faded denim. Because I do want it kind of blue. Ooh, do you know what? I'm not fond of this one. It did an HDR look. If you do this, the HDR actually kind of lightened some of it and brought out some contrast. And it did a vintage. But do you know what? I don't like that because I want my colors to be bright. So let's get rid of this. Click on vintage and get rid of it. Now, here's where I want to be. I want to do my own thing with my own filters. So first of all, let me show you, before we get to stacking my filters here, let me show you an adjustment brush that you can fix parts of your picture with. Okay? Notice how this area is dark and the shadows are kind of dark on our faces. So let's ch click on lighten. <clears throat> when I get my brush out here, 
I can change the size of my brush here. I can change the feathering, and I do want to feather it more. Okay. Now the opacity. If I write, draw, if I paint right now, it'll automatically make that area on the mask white. So I want to do it gradually, my changes. So I'll come down here to about eh, maybe a little more than that, around 20. So I have this brush. Now let's take a look at this layer. It's an, actually an adjustment layer, and the actual adjustment brush is going to be painting on this mask. Where it's black, that adjustment's not occurring on my picture. But if I paint with the brush, it's going to make parts of this mask white. So let's take a look. Let's lighten this area up. Swipe one. Can you tell a little difference? And it's kind of a gray mark on my mask. Let's do it again. If I keep going back and forth, it'll finally do that adjustment at 100%. And you see the stripe there? It's solid white. Now, let's look at the faces. I can gradually paint those shadows. And you see two little gray dots right there. That's where I painted on the mask to lighten the shadows on our two faces. That's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? I just wanted to show you what that was about. So let's click on that and hit the trash can. Now let's actually go to the filters. If I want, I can do a glow. Let's try, I think there was a, uh, the black soft glow. Let's try that. It adds a glow. I don't see very much difference except that it's a little bit of a glow, but it darkened my image. I don't like that, so I will take it to the trash can. Okay, uh, let's try something else here. Uh, let's try a vignette. Ah, here's where we can put a vignette on our picture. So, let's try winter white. Ah, now do you see what the vignette is? Obviously, I can't do anything with that vignette. There's no things down here to change it. And I'm not too fond of that vignette. So, let's see if I can change it. If I can't, let's do a darker vignette. Oh, these are all light. Let's just do a big softy one. Ah, that changed it to a big softy one. There, what it is, is there's a little darker corners here. And if I like that, we can close it. Do you see it now? That's okay. But that's how you would do some of these filters. But I'm going to do something different. Let's get rid of vignette. Now, I love HDR. This, I want my picture to bump up the contrast and pop out the colors. So I think right now I'll do HDR Surreal. Double click Surreal. Ah, now let's take a look. Pretty cool, huh? It actually lightened the darker areas and bumped up some of the contrast. And also saturated some of the areas. I like that. You can do it as a glow. Here's some other choices you can have. You can do it with a glow or natural if you want. But I'm going to keep it as surreal. Now let's take a look at some of these settings. Notice it's right here. This is the HDR uh, block. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's get rid of that one. Let's just do this one. Ah, wait a minute. Let's do it again. Let's do the surreal. Evidently, I was looking at a couple of these. Okay, here it is. Now, when I click here, I'm going to keep surreal. Okay? Now, I want to make the colors even better. 
So I'll go about halfway here. And that makes a nice coloring. Let's close the eyeball. Oh, what a difference. Bumped up the colors really nice. And you know what? I still want the shadows to be a little lighter. So in the shadows, I'll bump the shadows up a little more. Lighten it a little more. Now let's take a look at the difference. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. I think that's what I'm going to keep. Now, I want to add something onto this. So here's an empty layer. If that wasn't there, I could have done the plus button. So here's an empty layer. I will go to borders. I want to put a border on this. Let's try... <clears throat> I think I'll try a... Uh, Let's try an emotion transfer border. Let's try that. That's pretty cool. That's neat. So, I like that. Now, down here, I can do the thickness. Ah, that's making it smaller. Here, I can make the thickness a little thicker or even a little thicker if I want. It's kind of cool. You can change your border there. You can also, it's kind of, uh, it might be hiding some of my image, so I can maybe fit my picture in here. Let's see what the difference is. Ah, yes. Let's fit my picture into the border so I'm not missing much of the edges. That's pretty cool, because I like that. Now, there I go. I have created an image. I used the filter HDR look, and I had chosen Surreal, and I made some changes down here in the settings, and I chose a border, and I uh, changed uh, some of the settings down here. Now, the white's not going to make any difference doing these. If there was a color, it would, but it doesn't. And if you don't like it, you can always re redo it. Rotate. Oh, I can rotate the border, too, if I want here. But I'm going to keep it the way it is. Now that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and go File, Save, and Close. And it's already going to save it as a, a JPEG. In case you don't know for sure, let's take a look at it. Here it is. Wait a minute. Here it is. It's the JPEG. And there it is. It named it the name that I brought into it. It's a copy and it's a JPEG. Well, thank you for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it.